What celebrity death was the most unexpected? River Phoenix Grant Imahara The two that surprised me the most were Taylor Hawkins and Grant Imahara. Phil Hartman, a little further back. At the time, I was a tremendous fan and found it difficult to accept the news. Hell, that still makes me so depressed. Anton Yelchin JFK Dudes out in public waving at people then suddenly his head just fucking explodes. Doesn't get more unexpected than that. Brittany Murphy Grant Imahara was like a freight train of pain. I was not expecting David Bowie. He died like the same day as an album release and didn't tell the world he was sick. I named my cat Bowie that year. Philip Seymour Hoffman thought he was a fabulous actor. Heath Ledger. That was seriously out of nowhere and right after a huge blockbuster success. I was really shocked by Robin Williams and Alan Rickman. John Ritter. Robin Williams. Alia. Bob Sajet. A recent one was Leslie Jordan. Steve Irwin. Naya Rivera. Avisi. Chadwick Boseman. Trevor Moore. George Michael, on Christmas Day 2. No one saw that one coming. Crying face. Chester Bennington. Anthony Bordin. Bernie Mac. I found out about him through a Cinema Sins video. Caught me completely off guard. Cameron Boyce. David Bowie stunned me. If you look at his last photo, you'd never have known he was ill. Grant Imahara was absolutely devastated when I heard the news he was such a nice dude. Bordin. Still hurts. Still Princess Diana. Norm MacDonald. JFK, Jr., and Diana. Heath Ledger. Michael Jackson no matter how you feel about him, his death was definitely unexpected. Robin Williams hit people in places they didn't know they had. That poor man. Anton Yelchin was absolutely tragic, but he hadn't yet achieved the level of celebrity he no doubt would have. Tom Petty hit me in unexpected ways and still makes me sad, but that's me. He seemed like a kind man. Kobe. Kurt Cobain. I knew he was a drug addict, hated fame and was depressed, but being a middle school kid, I didn't really understand all that. I was a huge fan so it was a massive shock and my first experience W grief really. Prince. Natasha Richardson. Selena Quintanilla, Whitney Houston, and Lemmy. Ironically Steve Irwin and Norm MacDonald are the two that come to mind. Christina Grimmy, she was only 22. Jason David Frank. Chadwick Boseman. Didn't even know he was sick. People thought it was a prank at first. Alan Rickman. I know he was sick, but Alex Trebek. Really sucked. I kind of thought he would just live forever. And watching the last episodes where he would be tearing up at the thought of having to leave the show really got me in the feels. James Gandolfini. Dolores O'Ridden. Carrie Fisher. She was so wonderful. Any sudden one like Kobe Bryant and Paul Walker, but IMO Chris Cornell taking his own life came as a great shock to me. It never occurred to me that a man with such a successful and great music career could feel that way in his fifties. Sean Locke disappointed but relieved face. Bill Paxton. Carrie Fisher. Patrick Swayze was my first crush. Still sad he's gone. Rick Mile. Dude was only in his fifties and still so full of life. 
Chester Bennington. Chris Farley. The Master. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Grant Imahara. MF Doom, in that it happened a couple of months before it was announced. For me at least, Gilbert Gottfried. His death was really unexpected to me. Princess Diana was pretty shocking. Luke Perry. Jim Henson. Christopher Reeve and his wife. His death wasn't a huge surprise but his wife died shortly after, they left behind kids. It was sad. I still miss Brittany Murphy. Princess Diana. Jeff Buckley. There are lots of other celebrity deaths mentioned, yet this one hurt me the most and the first one for me. I never really cared about any deaths before this one, and it was so crazy how he died. I guess Brandon Lee for me. I remember I was fucking around in the house making something to eat with MTV on in the background. And MTV News came on to tell us all he was dead. It was mad. His star was just rising. He was starting to move out from under his father's shadow. But instead, he left a legacy similar to his father. I had a very similar experience when Chadwick Boseman died. Just out of the blue, and right when his star was rising. Such a shame for both of them. Rip. I was super young the death of Andre the Giant. Just broke my eight-year-old heart to pieces. Mac Miller. He was so young and was working on so much more music. His loss hit me like a ton of bricks. Rip. Dimebag Darrell. Taylor Hawkins' death hit me harder than any other celeb death thus far. Arlia. It was so senseless. If someone had just made the call to leave some of the luggage. That death legitimately gave me a forever fear of plain weight distribution. Michael Clark Duncan loudly crying face. Selena Quintanilla Perez. Before her murder, she got real famous in the States for dreaming of you. I bought the CD, playing it over and over, singing and dancing along. Her music made me so happy. Afterwards, I would still listen, but would just cry endlessly. I never wanted vengeance on a person like I did with Yolanda. I was only 11 or 12. Dale Earnhardt, Sr. Michael Hutchins. 25 years ago this month. In recent memory, Helen McCrory. I'm a big Peaky Blinders fan and it was shocking how she died within the filming period before season 6 released. She wasn't very old at all rip. Bruce Lee. JFK Jr. and his wife. Not surprising for the Kennedys, but so random. Dimebag Darrell. That was rough and painful to the metal community. He was Santa with a pink beard. Trevor Moore. Just recently unexpected Kevin Conroy. Had no idea he was battling cancer. Lesser known but Christina Grimmy, shot dead at 22 when signing autographs. Chadwick Boseman simply cause he did the fact that he had cancer. Bob Sajet. Coolio. Taylor Hawkins. I'm surprised no one has said Michael Jackson. His death came out of nowhere. Eddie Van Halen. Chadwick Boseman. Was going on about my life and saw an article that he had passed due to cancer. I was starstruck. I was like what? He had cancer? He died? Probably one of the most confused times of my life. Rip Chadwick. And the poor man was receiving criticism in the near last few times of his life due to how skinny he was. What a cruel world at times. Tom Petty. Heath Ledger. I guess it depends on your age and context which ones hit you the hardest. I'm from Australia and watched him in all these movies when I was a teenager, so hearing he died was a shock.